Okay, thanks for coming back for another week. It's March, and it's a leap year, so we had an extra day. Always fun to have a leap year. So, topics. I love and hate topics. I'm in English this semester, so I have to write an essay, which means I have to come up with a topic for the essay, because in grade 12 we finally don't have to write a persuasive essay, which is really, really nice. And write any kind of essay we want, doesn't have to be five paragraphs. <sighs> I'm happy about that. The problem is just coming up with a topic that you actually want to talk about and you feel passionate about, because you can just do like a drop topic, like we should wear uniforms in schools, or there shouldn't be fighting in hockey, but you're not actually interested in those topics, so you, you just get bored. So yeah, I've had some trouble with topics. This is a uh, sheet of notes that I'm trying to use to come up with a topic and eventually didn't use any of those. And so I bring up topics mainly because I have no topic for this video, so I'm making the topic topics. It's very interesting what we choose to talk about. In television and in news especially, a lot of the time it's just like the big headlines, things people, like the terrifying things that are really like important, but there's a lot of other smaller things that are also important, but they're not sort of like flashy enough. We see this a lot on like YouTube where there's clickbait titles, things like 10 foods you should never eat or the most amazing stunt ever you know, written in all caps. Then they've got like some like thumbnail that just makes them look interesting. And so we want to go click at those ones, even if they have no meaning whatsoever. And the actually interesting videos just look like normal everyday videos. And eventually I chose um, a topic. It's kind of funny actually, because my topic was always going to be about music. And now it's about how music can convey meaning without words, which is just, it sort of narrows it down a bit. So I can not be really, really vague because vague gets 70s. And it's kind of funny just the way things happen because I wasn't going to talk about Lord of the Rings and now it's just circled right back around to the Lord of the Rings and all the musical themes in Lord of the Rings. So thank you Nerd Writer because your video really inspired me. If I can figure out annotations, if I can't. I have a topic. I have found one by thinking about my homework that I have not maybe finished. You know. Anyway, so just a disclaimer, I'm gonna start talking about grade 12 math. If you have no interest in that, you can head over to my other channel to watch some of my videos by in grade 12, you can take calculus if you want to. And it's actually pretty interesting because what you don't realize is that there's this really big hype about calculus and they always like teasing us in 11th grade about how hard it is because it's always on the board and it just looks terrifying. And you're like, mm, I don't want to do that next year. But then you have no choice because you want to be an engineer. And the crazy thing about calculus is when you actually get into it, it's really simple. You're really surprised when you learn what things are. So basically you have a limit which looks something like that. And then you can have a specific type of limit that looks like this is a difference quotient. It's the slope of a secant in a function. There's this crazy thing that when you take the limit of the slope of the line and suddenly you have the first derivative and it's like we heard all about like derivatives and how weird and confusing they were and suddenly it's just like that's it? That's a derivative? What? And then it does get more complicated than that. And then like the second derivative is taking the derivative of the first derivative and it's like I just automatically assumed it was something more complicated than that and then it wasn't. And remember to never explain calculus to a live dragon. <laughs> I'm not really sure prepare for these, shouldn't I?